Uh, the lead at four, the Murdoch murder trial enters its fourth week with more forensics details about blood and guns, the night of the killings, and how Alec, Maggie, and Paul were all connected. But there is a big story brewing today. You will only hear on News 3. WSAV's Andrew Davis is joining us now live from the courthouse in Colleton County with the latest. Well, there are two people everybody in this case want to hear from. Curtis, cousin Eddie Smith, he could take the stand as soon as this week. And I have learned exclusively from a source that Alec Murdoch is planning to take the stand himself in his own defense next. It was a source close to his legal team that told me officially that he wants to and is now on the schedule to testify on the stand. We've heard from Alec several times during this trial, but each time it's been on video, either from the night of the murder or in interviews the days after. While they could change their mind, this would be the first time that Alec has talked live about the crimes, his son or wife, since the murders happened in June 7th, 2021. News 3 has learned once again that Alec should testify in his own defense as early as next week. Now, the other big news of the day, two jurors have been sent home because they contracted COVID-19. Two alternates have now been moved up to the main jury. In all so far, three alternate jurors have now been dismissed for medical reasons from the case. Testimony did continue as scheduled today. A sled forensics expert hit the stand to detail the results of blood DNA tests on the clothes that Alec was wearing that night and the car he was driving. There were a lot of numbers, but most showed by an incredibly large margin that stains found on Alex's shirt and shorts showed signs of Maggie and Paul's DNA as well as Alex. Now, what those tests didn't show, though, was blood from either of the victims. Now, the defense countered that evidence by showing that the tests they used are far from perfect, and even the evidence that they did get doesn't point directly at Alec. Was there DNA from an unrelated male under her fingernails? Yes, one of the alleles um, indicates a male um, contributor. Uh, were Paul and Alec Murdoch excluded as contributors? Yes. So male DNA under her fingernails, not from Paul, not from uh, Alec Murdoch. Now, Paul's blood was found on the steering wheel of the Suburban that Alec was driving while he was at Moselle. As for the jurors, attorneys from both sides did bring up the possibility of a delay in this case for as long as five days, but they're really just afraid that it could be a mistrial. But Judge Newman denied that and said he wants this to continue. There will be a doctor that will come in and test them again on Wednesday. But the big news is as early as next week, we're understanding the defense plans to call Alec Murdoch to the stand to fight for his own life in his murder case. Andrew Davis, WSAV News 3 in Walterboro. Back to you. Andrew, thank you. The court also released body, body camera footage from the scene that has not been seen before except in court. So we have that as well as all the updates on this case, a live blog and a link to live stream every day in court at WSAV.com slash Murdoch.